hi guys so welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a passion twist with these two beautiful colors so i'm going to go ahead and prep my hair i want this hair to be really long so i'm going to just cut it into two uh if you're trying to mix two different shades of braiding hair this is how you do it i don't want this hair to be two different colors like the red differently and pink differently i want the two colors to be blended together so that's what i'm doing here all you have to do is your hair that is already cut join the two colors together and then start pulling it apart the colors join together you pull the two colors apart you put it back together you pull it or you just keep doing that until your colors are properly mixed and this will also get rid of the blunt uh tips so it will be ready for use if you want to braid you can just go ahead and start braiding with this one right here all right so once you're done mixing your colors go ahead and brush it out uh to get rid of any bumps any tangly but this one is actually this method is actually better for your braiding hair because it doesn't tangle it at all it's very easy to maintain and manage so i will suggest you start using this method Alright, so I've seen videos on YouTube of um, people using skewers and straws to kind of do their curls. I didn't have any of those and I didn't want to go ahead and buy it, so I decided to use my uh, flex rod that I already have at home to do the curls. So I'm showing you guys two different curl patterns where you can curl it to be really tight or you curl it to be uh, a little loose. Not like the curls being loose, you curl it. Um, for the curls for the head to have space like space in between the wrappings just like this one you can do this or you can coil it to be really tight i actually choose to prefer coiling it to be close together that way you can get so many two coils at least in one uh, flex rod instead of using one flex rod for just one strand one coil all right so uh just go ahead and coil your hair um this two different uh coiling method actually didn't change anything in the hair because it didn't really show any different it just made the hair look the same so whether you coil it to be close together or uh spaced out it doesn't really change um the coil patterns on, on the hair because at the end of the day you have to loosen out the coils and then you twist it together so it doesn't really affect the look of the hair so you just go ahead and do the one that you prefer all right so once i'm done coiling the entire hair i'm just going to go ahead and soak that in hot water um there's this pack of hair sorry this pack of hair strengthener that comes with on the braiding hair so that's what i'm using right now just go ahead and pour that into the water the hot water with the hair inside i uh, want i'm done with that just go ahead and mix it up mix it up so it will get into all the hair right this really made my hair soft it really made it really soft and really nice feel okay so once you're done with that just go ahead and take it out let it air dry for a little while and then you can unravel the coils all right so for the braids i'm going so I'm going to be using this ORS um, age control to kind of keep the hairs in place. Alright, so just go ahead and part your hair um, to the desired pattern you want. So I'm just doing a basic um, box pattern here. So just go ahead and part your hair and then you start twisting. So for the beginning, um, I started with um, trying to twist the hair like I'm doing a rope twist starting to twist it from the beginning but I didn't really like that and it kind of gave her a little pain so I changed it up and I was using box braids I started with box braid and then I turned it into a twist all right so before you start braiding your hair just go ahead and take out the curls the um the hair you want to use to twist all right just take it out and then hold it in the center and then pull it apart as if you want to you know scatter the coils or loosen up the coils all right so just go ahead and scatter you can make it as big as you want or make it thin it depends on the style you're going for if you want your hair to be really big you can loosen it up a little more so i didn't really want mine to be that big like the start on hair to be that big so i had to just you know keep the curls intact just a little more all right so just go ahead and twist that out and um, 
once you're done you don't really need to do any other thing just um yeah putting all the coffins all the styles anything you want to add into the hair to give it a little more glam you know or you don't really have to do any other thing like dipping it in hot water or anything you don't have to do any other thing so once you're just done twisting your hair is done
so that is it for this hair i hope you guys liked this hair because i really loved it i actually want to get one for myself yay uh i hope you guys liked this video if you did please just go ahead and thumbs up for the video uh if you have any question if you have any remarks or any motivation for me just go ahead and leave it in the comment section i will answer all of your comments all right and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel subscribe 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 all right i'll see you guys in my next video thank you for watching bye